Hi guys, myself again. This video shall see another problem on this code. Majority element. So given an integer array of size n, find all the elements that appear more than n by three times. So the given an array of size n, and we have to return all the elements that are that is appearing more than n by three times. So n is the size of the array. In this case, the size of the array is seven. So seven by three will be two. Two point five, which is approximated to two. So the elements that are appearing more than two times, we have to return those. So if you see over here, one is appearing thrice, so one will be returned. Then again, two also appearing thrice, so two will also be returned. So this is what we need to return. So at first, it's uh, the approach. What we can do is we can just uh, sort the array. And then keep the pointer until the next number comes in. You count it. So if it is greater than three, then add it. Then from here, new count will be started again. If it is greater than three, add it. Here, new count will be started, and it, the count will be one here, and you stop it. So that is a normal approach what we do. But the other thing, instead of this, what other thing we can do is we can create a hash map. So hash map and add elements. So hash map, you know. It, Made up of integer and integer type will be so this is key and value so key will be the array element and the value will be the number of times it's occurring so for one it will not be present in hash map so add it and it will have point of one so value will be one for two again newly added and the pointer will be one value will be one so one is already present so it incremented to two now the value will be three is not present so the value will be one. Two, the value will be incremented two. Then again, one is of counter, so value will be incremented to three, and two is also the value will be incremented to three. So after this hash map, you have this hash map now one to two, two to three, and three to one. The values, keys, and values respectively. Now I did to the hash map as a set, as a key set, map key set we have. So once you iterate the hash map, you check whether the count. These values are greater than n by three. If it is, then just um, the return type is list. So create a list and add that particular number uh, of the keys to the list and return the list. That is how you solve the problem. So at first we will create the list. So int n equal to num start length. No bracket. Now we will create the list of type integer. So let's name it as list only, so that will be new array list. So we will create hash map also. The type will be of integer comma integer. Let's name it as map new hash map. So now we have added to the elements in the array. So we have to add map dot put off. Either we have to get the default one. What we have to put one is the number and value depends whether the number is already present. Just increment the value by one. Otherwise, by default, you have to add it as one. So map dot get off. Or either you get it, or you make a default value of num comma zero plus one. So what it will do? If the number is already present, it will increment by one. If number is not present, it will assign zero, and that value will also get incremented by one. So the count will be one. So after this, now you iterate to the hash map. So for in number each number in the map dot key set. If map dot get of num the value of a particular number is greater than n by three. Then you have to add that to the list. So list dot add of that particular number. So yeah.
at last you return the list we will run this yeah if you understood the problem please like the video and subscribe to the channel uh, there is some other algorithm to solve the problem as well we will be explaining in the next video so until then keep running thank you